What up, what up, what up, what up? Y'all know what today is. It's Truck Talk Tuesdays. What's going on with y'all? I'm going with no headphones today. So just let me know in the, uh, in the comments if y'all can hear me and everything loud and clear. Um, today I just want to talk about some exciting, something exciting, you know, outside of, you know, living 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 a good life of a of an entrepreneur well i would say the the up and down life but you know we got to embrace the good but yeah so lately i've been trying to book loads outside of amazon so like i, I don't know if, how many of y'all are new or how many of y'all been following me since I, I think i probably started youtube maybe about a couple months ago but yeah so Mostly everything I was doing was all Amazon. So now, bit of a change as I'm moving into the semi space, as I'm trying to get more profitable loads, today marks that day where I booked the first semi load outside of Amazon. I was I was booking all my loads. I was booking all my loads through Amazon for the longest. But today I booked a load through JB Hunt. Which I don't know how much box truck loads loads they got, but I know they got a very nice load board that's similar to Amazon. You can book right off of there. The only difference is you can actually bid on the loads there. So that's the that's the thing I like. But it, it got a lot of other ones like other companies like Snyder. Um, you got Convoy. It's a lot of other different different spots you could you could hit up and get loads from. But I booked the I booked the load that's from Atlanta to Birmingham to back. Anybody know that something like two two hundred ninety about three hundred miles, twelve fifty. They had it posted for eleven. I'm like, let me get twelve fifty. They ain't really argue with me about it. And I'm like, if I can get about four five of them a week in the semi, I might just sell all of them boxes. But nah, I, I always keep the little trucks because it's it's always a little it's always gonna be a need for those trucks, you know. Anyway, in the marketplace, what up? What up? What up? Let me do some shout outs. What up? What up? I think that Cuff 32, Sean Tatum, much respect. Richie Toros, much respect. Where my banner's going. Much respect. We got Rome, what's up, what's up? What up, what up? We got Dana Holland, what's going on? You always in the building? You good? Loud and clear, that's good, that's good. What up, Jeff? Who else in the building? I see 27 people live. Go ahead, get them likes up, hit them likes. Yeah, so so yeah, I just wanted to tell y'all about that particular experience that I that I had booking booking the better book booking better loads outside of Amazon, which it is a lot of other boards. Um I don't um let me know if y'all end up checking out selectors. If anybody in the box truck space had any any luck with selectors, I was on there. I wasn't booking loads at where I at where I want it to be at, even though I know it's it's majority box truck loads on there, but like right now I'm looking to be a little bit higher than what what I've been so I can run less equipment, you know, and not be managing so much. But yeah. So today I do want to do some um today I do want to jump into some I want to jump into some some relay lookups potentially. I want to do, you know, some maybe some DAT city lookups. But what what I want to do today to switch it up a little bit, I actually want to, I'm actually going to give you guys a number to call in. So that's going to be something different that I'm going to do today. I want to actually give y'all a number to call in. And matter of fact, I want to jump in because I want y'all to be able to engage with me in conversation you know, briefly, I probably do like two minutes per call, but I kind of want to change it up and make it a little more engaging, you know, for everybody too as well. So just let me know. Uh, so so just get y'all get y'all questions ready. I probably let y'all ask me maybe like one question, you know, because I want to get a few people in there. We'll do that for about maybe fifteen minutes, and then we'll get into maybe some city lookups. But I feel like the city lookups are not really super accurate because the time that we're looking at them ain't even the time that the the low boards is popping. Any, anybody that knows something about low boards, low boards pop from like 9 a.m. in the morning to like 5 or 6. So when I'm going live, I'm going live after my work day is done, essentially. 
you know, after most of the work is done because it's slow. Most of my lot, most of my drivers are already got loads booked because I got the, you know, the dedicated with Amazon. But now that I'm booking loads off the load board, you know, it ain't really much to see at nighttime, but what's for tomorrow. And everybody should know that the loads always pay more when it's right before you finna pick the loads up. So just, just keep that in mind that ahead of, ahead of time loads, most of the time pay less. You get closer to that time, the brokers start going up on that price. So, you know, I want to start doing it from an aspect that less is more. So give me about one minute. I'm about to get my, I'm about to get my, um, my phone hooked up. And I'm about to get this number on the screen for y'all. And I'm about to throw my headphones on. So Truck Talk Tuesdays is episode six. You know, we talking good loads. We talking, we talking everything. But since this is Truck Talk, I want to hear from the people in the community. All right, so just give me one second. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got the headphone joints on. Yeah, I know how to do it. You know, I gotta get on my rapper stuff. <laughs> Used to be a rapper, then I said, truck it. I'm the truck boss. What up, St. Louis? I see St. Louis in the building hometown. What up, RP kid? I see you. I see you checking in late. Hey, better late than never. I got you. Well, yeah, I believe I got my phone check in. So what I want y'all to do is first. Hold on, first let me put this number in real quick for y'all to call. The number is, give me one second, man. I barely made it to her on time to even get on time. Today was one of them days. Today was definitely one of them days. Now this is my first time doing this, y'all. So don't be don't be tripping. But that's the number right there. If y'all can see it right there, that eight three three number. So I want y'all to go ahead and start calling in. I want to answer some questions actually live. So you know, so we can get a little more engaging in here. But first, let me do a little test real quick to see if y'all can even hear my audio. The audio that's coming from my phone. On in. Can y'all hear the audio from my phone? Um, Collins, just go to KobePegway.com, my brother. I'm just playing like another one of my videos. Can y'all hear that? Can y'all type in some nines or something? Let me know y'all hear this. Oh, well, I see somebody calling in already. All right, well, we're going to just check it on here. Davenport, Florida, check in. What's up? What's up? You live on the air. What's your name and what city you calling from? Hold on, hold on. Oh, no, I guess they hung up. Call in with y'all questions. Go ahead or we gonna move on to the city lookups. Find a round trip loads. What up, what up, what up? You live. What's your name? What city you calling from? Hold on, let me get you on it. What's up, what's up? What's your name? What city you calling from? Uh, I'm Frank Brown from St. Louis. What up, what up? You calling there from the Lou? What's up? Hey, what's good, bro? So uh, I just got my MC number and stuff, and uh, I'm just looking to get a driver and then a truck. So my question is, uh, how do you, like, what's the process for hiring a driver, like a good driver? Like, what do you recommend? Well, a good driver, I can't give you that. <laughs> You're going to have to sniff them out your, on, your, on your own. <laughs> but 
But what you can do, okay. like um, some of my drivers I got off Indeed, some of them I got off Craigslist. The best, some of the best drivers I got, I got them off referrals though. Like I, I mean, I got them from from like other drivers. So when you when you interviewing drivers, you kind of just gotta fill them out. You know that when you was trying to get a job before that you lied. You know, <laughs> before when right, you was trying right. to get a job, so you gotta know that you gotta know that that um, folks are definitely gonna um, gonna be lying on the application and everything. So okay, so just keep that in mind. Um, but like I said, you you gonna learn that by experience though for sure. So I would say try to right. you know try to interview like try to come up with some good questions. My my main thing would be like if any anybody who anybody who is who is talking stuff about their old employer? Don't hire them because if they coming in with a negative with a negative attitude, nine times out of ten, they are gonna have that same energy, same energy. Okay, but so what's up? You got one more All question? Right. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I'm looking to get a, a semi truck, and uh, I was gonna rent one, and uh, I wasn't sure about the process, like. So do I have to rent one first before I can apply for the insurance and then do the box three and all that stuff? Or yeah, yeah. So what you can do, the only thing you need to do to get your insurance active is just have a VIN number. So you, so all you need to have is is a contingent. You just need to have a contingent, you know, um, truck. So just give them the VIN number to whatever truck you can go on Rider, like I said, and see whatever they got for sale, and you can. You know, you could just use that VIN number to get active. So you don't have to go rent the truck and then wait. Just get a VIN number. You know, from off rider used oh, trucks okay. or, or you from a used truck company or something like that. You know, because anybody who's selling okay, trucks got it. You just need that van. That's it. Okay, cool. All right, then, brother. Um, good, good luck All to right, you man, out there. Um, let me know if you got any more questions I can answer. Yes, I'll, sir. I appreciate it. All right, you got it, boss. What's up? What's up? What's your name? Where you calling in from? You live. Hey, my man. Uh, this is uh, this is Carlos. Uh, I got a box truck. Well, I got two box trucks, and I'm looking at some. Uh, stuff What'd you say your name was? And where are you from? Carlos, Atlanta. I said, Carlos from Atlanta. Yeah. Uh, okay, I got you. Now, what was your question? So, okay, yeah, I've got two box trucks. I had one on the road with FedEx. Uh -huh. uh, custom critical I was running for about four years. So I'm looking at some box truck work in the city and I bought another one. Uh so I got two and uh everybody tell me about appliance delivery. Do you know about appliance delivery and what all it entails or do I need to stick with just like load boards and No, nah, I mean that? appliance is good if you got you know, if you got somebody that you know, a second person in the truck with you and you kinda know how to do it. I I just don't I don't like the idea of well, I've ne I've never seen work that paid enough to justify me putting two people in the truck. So that's really the only thing right there. It's just I never gotcha, really, gotcha. Okay, you know, I never seen that. Saying, okay, they're, they're saying you know between thirty five hundred four grand a week with these trucks. I know that's a lot of a lot of refrigerators being moved though. You know what I mean? So yeah, I didn't know if you had any experience in that. I mean, it's a lot of liability. I mean, I feel like okay. you can get that with one person in the truck and a whole lot less liability. Now, now if I'm putting two people in the truck, they're gonna have to okay. be talking like ten grand a week. You see what I'm saying? Because you got to pay still gotcha. full full salary for for both people that's in the truck. So, and and gotcha. like I said, they can gotcha. they can they can run into okay. walls and all type of stuff like that. So, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, good stuff, man. Hey, I'll be reaching back out to you. I'm gonna get your course because I'm trying to get on. Uh, I've already got the uh, authority applied for, so I'm just uh, I'm just waiting for that. I got the I got my about probably about probably another week or so. I can get back from now. Okay. All right, then, brother. Thanks for calling in. Yeah, cool, man. All right, good stuff, man. Keep doing what you do. All right, you got it, man. I appreciate you. Right. See if we got anybody else. I'm going to take a couple more calls. What's up? What's up? You live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello. Yeah, what's your name? Where are you calling hey, from? Hey, how you doing? How you doing? My name is Tiffany. I'm calling from Atlanta. Tiffany from Atlanta. Yes, I wanted to know, um, we're about to purchase a box truck. So when you purchase your box truck, 
do you typically take a mechanic with you or you just buy them straight out no, and um, then you take it right to I always take a mechanic, either take a mechanic with me or either, uh, well, me, I don't buy a truck without a pre-sale inspection. So that's just meaning like, okay, if if, you, if you're getting it, you're going to take it. When you test drive it, go test drive it to a diesel mechanic shop or something like that. You know, you go take it to a diesel mechanic shop and have them, to, it might cost like $300 for the pre-sale inspection. But if you finna invest twenty or $30,000 into a truck or even $10,000 into a truck, $300 is a drop in the bucket for, to know whether you finna buy a, you know, a lemon or not. So definitely, definitely pay for your pre-sale inspection or either take a mechanic with you, All always. Okay, okay. My husband, he has a question for you as well. All right, go ahead. Hey, how you doing? Hey, what's going on? Hey, we're just now getting ready to buy this truck. Uh -huh. We're getting with a dispatcher. I'm trying to see what is, I guess, the average um, cost per mile on the gift start now. Well, it's... You you would have to like get like a coaching call for that because that that depends on a whole lot of different variations. It depends on what market you in, how much you paying for your rental truck, how much your insurance costs, like how much your truck costs, rental costs, what fuel is in your in your market. You see what I'm saying? It's too many variations to be like this. I mean, I would say on average, maybe I'm thinking a dollar in between a dollar and I would say a dollar ten and a dollar forty cent. It just it just some people's is a dollar eighty though. It just depends on. What your cost is, but you have to. I had to show you the formula. Like, like in my course, I go over it, like the formula of how to break it down, you know, and exactly how I break it down. No matter if it's a rental truck or if it's a truck that you own. So it's just too many variations okay. to to kind of just give you to give you a, a concrete answer on it. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. No problem. Thank you guys for calling. All right. Bye bye. Had some more calls. I wish I could hold hold them, but I don't know how to do that yet. All right, well, I'm gonna jump into these questions real quick. Well, hold on, let me take this one more. What's up? What's up? You live? What's your name? Where you calling from? Hello. Hello. Yeah. What's your name? Where you calling from? Yeah, my name is Ernest. I'm calling from Birmingham, Alabama. All right, what's going on, Ernest? It's good. So, so, um, I really appreciate the information that you guys be giving out on the uh, on, on your on your podcast. Uh huh. But I, I think um, you should probably like kind of give the people a little insight on what trucks to stay away from. Yeah, that's. Because I mean, I, I purchased one. I purchased one when I was international with the Max Force. And it's costing me a fortune, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, but all of us talk about that, though. I mean, I know me and Demetrius B have went over that several times. I mean, I I've, I've told everybody my whole story is about the 2012 International with the Max Force in it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, I put the circle before I started listening to you guys on, online. So. But so it wasn't it's, that uh, we didn't talk yeah, about it. You just didn't you just didn't look you just didn't look into it enough before you you, you, you didn't do your research before yeah. before you bought the truck. <laughs> Special. But Special. yeah, but yeah, 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 man. I had one. It cost me a ton um, of money. Uh, yeah. I mean, I stick with Freightliners. I mean, they cost a little bit more, but like I said, the resale value is there, and like I said, a lot of a lot of people are working on it. So, what are you doing? So, what are you doing for anybody else that's listening? What are you doing to combat that problem? Um, well, right now, man, I'm, I'm too deep into it, so I'm, I'm having them, you know, rebuild the engine right now, so. So if, uh, I'm like I say, I'm 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 too deep into it to just you know what I'm saying walk away from it. So okay, yeah, yeah, I know. Trust me, man. Trust me. I, I didn't I didn't give mine up until they said it was sixteen grand, and I was just like, man, I I ain't I ain't finna pay that yeah. much for it. You know, it was it, that was the breaking point for me. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it fixed and, and try to work it for a couple of months before I stop it off. You know, I'm gonna try to trade it in or something. But, uh, but yeah, I was just I just wanted to you know share that man. But I appreciate what you guys are doing though. Okay, you got it, man. Thanks for calling in, brother. Yes, sir. What's up? What's up? You live? What's your name? Where you calling in from? Hey, what's going on, Mister Pegway? Hey, calling you from a uh, Fort Drum, New York. From New York, you said.
Hey, so my question is, do you have to have everybody, do you have to have all your drivers under your insurance, or is it just a, does your insurance cover everybody that drives for you? You you technically supposed to have everybody on your insurance. That would be the correct, you know, the correct way to do it, have, having to have everybody on your insurance policy. But like, say for instance, like like if you got a rider truck and it's and you taking rider insurance, and it's like your second truck or mm-hmm. something like that. You can just only have that driver driving that rider truck under rider insurance policy. But you would still need them on your cargo policy, though, because then if they have an accident and they're not on your, you know. So that's why I teach, you know, I'll be telling people to get multiple insurance policies. So if you just want to put a driver on a cargo but not want to put them on your commercial auto, you know, you could do that as well. Yeah. But most of the time, if they don't got a, a very bad driving record, then it won't it won't even make your policy go up anyway. It's only when they have a bad driving record that it makes it go up. And oh, you don't, okay. and, and, yes, sir. Yeah, and you don't really want to be hiring nobody with no um with a, with a bad driving record anyway because I, I've, I've, I've had bad results with, with guys with bad driving record. I mean, yeah, like, you, you know, you might find a needle in a haystack that learned a lesson, but most of them, they speed demons. Uh-huh. They probably going to get a ticket in your truck and get a ding on your company. Okay, yes, sir. Yes, sir. One last question. Um, if I live in New York, but I'm moving to South Carolina, do I have to have insurance for South Carolina? You would trust me. You would rather have. You would, trust me. You would rather have insurance in South Carolina than New York. It's going to be cheaper. Yes, I don't have a, a, a domicile name for my business yet because I don't have a, a South Carolina address. I got you. Well, yeah. I mean, that's nothing but just grabbing up an LLC and just switching. You know, you can just switch, just switch it over, or either just change the name. You know, or just like if you go to FMCSA and you change your address, then you know, call your insurance and just say you're moving your business because it's going to be still based on where your truck is at anyway, as far as like a home base. Oh yes, sir. I appreciate the, uh, the great info and God bless, man. Thank you very much. All right, you got it, man. You have a good day, brother. You too. All right. All right, child. All right, all right, all right. Let me go see what these comments hitting for. Is it what Richie Richie say? I'm having a hard time finding round trip joints on that DAT for box trucks. What do what do I look for? Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't really know about round trips on DAT. That round trips is more like a like an Amazon thing when it comes to box trucks, and that's that's more new for them too when it comes to tours. But the the most round trips I see is is power only. Like power only is typically round trip because if you taking somebody trailer somewhere, they probably want you to bring it back to wherever it's going. So that that's pretty much where where round trips at. From my experience, it could be something else. If anybody else knows something better than that, then you know always jump in the comments and put me up on game. Because like I said, I don't know everything. I only know it from 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 my experience and what I've done already. What would you say your net per day on Amazon Box? I'm leased to carrier in Seattle and pull a lot of Amazon already team solo two and solo one. Okay. Yeah. Well, my net is probably like on, on my trucks is probably like in between 150, $200 a day. It just depends on the route. Every route, every day. I don't, I don't have the same route. Sometimes I have longer routes. Sometimes I have shorter. Of course, to me, the routes that are in the middle are the best ones. Like the ones that are like 200, 300 miles. Those are the ones that I get the best profit on. Because the shorter ones are, are too short to really make up for my car. And some of the longer ones, they just don't make sense. And I don't want to put all of those type of miles on my trucks. We got Riley. Oh, no, no, okay. Let's see, got Conyers in the building. Big time Dre. Once you signed up for Amazon Relay, how do you use your added value services? Just reach out to VAS at Amazon.com. I don't know why they don't send that out to people, but yeah, I mean, that's all you got to do. Okay, let me make sure I ain't missing nobody up here. All right, hold on, let me see. Do insurance rates go by the value of your, of the truck you buy? Yeah, definitely. Well, the liability is going to be the same no matter what truck you got, but the physical damage is what's going to change depending on the value of the truck. 
and I'm and and I'm, and that's pretty much a fact. So I'm not I'm not guessing on that one. All right, so we got that. Okay, value added services. What up, peace? Will from STL, do you have to put someone on your insurance who drive for you or can they have their own insurance and still drive for me? Nah. Now if they driving your equipment, definitely, definitely gotta um gotta be on your insurance. Trying to find a lot to put my trucks. I'm curious how far your lot is from Amazon warehouse. Trying to keep their head to a minimum in Delaware by their warehouse. Well, yeah, mine's is about nine miles. Nine miles away. I had one that was closer to Amazon, but somebody stole my truck, so I had to move my truck to a more secure parking lot. Um, the other one I was paying for it too, though, but it just it just wasn't it just didn't have no really good gate. But yeah, definitely, definitely like nine miles. Uh, the guy in this in Atlanta, what he did is he bought he bought all the land next to all of the Amazon, so he hit a super lick there. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It's a dang how I skipped all of these. Yeah, man, it's hard to keep up with these. I'm gonna have to have a moderator or something. Cause, all right, so I did that one. Okay, he had the same question, so I answered that. Okay, all right, answered that. Hey, Kobe, is opening a is Amazon's opening up a fulfillment center in my hometown? Can Mississippi in August? Do you think this would be a good time to get into the business? That I don't know, cause it depends on if it's a fulfillment center or a sort center. Cause sort sort centers, sort centers are the. Hold on one second. Let me cut my phone off real quick. But it's one phone, my other phone ringing too. But yeah, um, yeah, um, just because it's, a, it's, a, it's a, okay. So you said it's a fulfillment center. So if you know for a fact it's a fulfillment center, then is it's the only trucks that's going to be running out of fulfillment center is going to be a semi truck. They might have a few boxes, but sort centers is where the box trucks and and stuff be at. So that could be, and I believe in Mississippi in that area, they they more targeting towards vans not saying that it's all vans and it won't be anything but i wouldn't i would kind of wait and see what it is or at least try to ask around before and then don't 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 get into the business based on amazon like amazon is going in a completely different direction so like i'm i'm not gonna sell y'all no gas and be like yeah get in and base it around amazon it's it's you can make some money and have amazon could be a part of it but I wouldn't get in basing it strictly off Amazon because it's, it's a whole lot of more other freight. It was people making money in box trucks before Amazon came. So don't don't get caught on the wave. And it, it, it costs too much to start a business to do that. It costs too much. Did you say you can start insurance without having a truck? Yes, you can. You just need a van number. All you need is a van number. Where do you store your trucks? What software do you use for payroll and accounting logistics? I store my trucks at a truck parking lot. I'm pretty sure it's a truck parking in every city. It's a lot of them here though, because it's a lot of trucks. Software to use for payroll and accounting. Um, I use QuickBooks and I use ADP. ADP runs the payroll. QuickBooks is what I use more for like accounting though. Love from New York, what up, what up? New York in the building. I like to buy your slides for your class since I work weekends. I didn't see the option for the slides on your website. Could you clarify how to buy the slides? I sent you a DM. I, what up, Anthony? Um, I'm waiting on my, my um, designer to put it on my website, so I don't have it on the website. But send me send me a, send an email in and, and put in a heading um, that you want to buy. the. It's, it's the slides, but it's really just say you want to buy the i3 mastery course, the, the book, though. It's just tell them you want to buy the book, and we'll we'll just have to set up you a, a separate invoice for that right now because it's not on the site just yet. Jeff Moore, great interview on Truck and Hustle. Can you lease? Thank you, sir. Can you lease buy a semi without CDL looking to put a driver in the truck? That's a good question. I don't know. 
I know you can I know you can buy a truck if you got cash, but a lot of people are gonna give you a hard time um trying to finance it though. I had a hard time trying to I finally found somebody. I, I can't remember the name of the company that I found that would do it though. But I get back to you. I check my email and get back to you. Jeff, just send me a text message. I mean not a text message, but send me an email about that. Do you have to do electric log book? Yep, you definitely do. Definitely. For any truck, unless you unless you're gonna be local, local, and you still gonna have to have some type of way of tracking your time. I'm looking into getting into white glove delivery with the box truck. What you think? Hey, go for it, go for it. I mean, a lot of people surviving and build their businesses around white glove. As long as you just make sure that the my only answer is always gonna be as long as the operational cost is there and you making profit, I would say do it. Cause you gonna ha- you gonna have more opportunities for work. Cause a lot of people don't want to do that. So anybody that's trying to do white glove gonna be good. All right. I am based in Toronto, Canada. Is Amazon really available here? And can you look up the rates? I don't. That I don't know. I never even looked at Toronto. Um, I, I see stuff in Ontario. I, I don't know. I don't know though about that. So you would just have to look 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 that up. So, I mean, I could try when I start looking at the rates, though, to look at that up. But just just remind me about that rude YR. For box trucks, how do you figure out how much weight you can hold and your dimensions of truck? And do you need – this is a, this is a lot of questions. I could ask, them like, like one of these. <laughs> well, the weight is going to be ba- – you got to go take your truck while it's empty and full of fuel – Empty in the in the back where it got no freight on it with full of fuel. Go weigh it, and then whatever's left, that's the difference. So if it weighs seventeen thousand pounds, then it means you only can take nine thousand pounds of freight. Your freight can't be no more than nine thousand, or you're gonna be overweight. And your dimensions of your truck, um, your dimensions is on the serial number. It's a serial number on the side of the box that'll tell you what the dimensions are. And do you need a DOT inspection to start hauling? You good with the regular? Nah, you gonna need a DOT inspection. Those those good questions. That should help a lot of people out right there. Good questions. How do you feel about the box truck game here in Louisiana? They're opening the Amazon distribution next year. I'm trying to get game, get in the game beforehand. I said again. I mean, don't base it off that one thing. It's gonna be a chance you can get in. A ch- chance you might not, you know, be able to get in. That's just the reality of it. But. I would say I don't, you know, it's it could be a good possibility for you. Depends on how many other people thinking the exact same thing you're thinking though, and everybody's thinking Amazon right now. Post your email. My email is info at kobepegway dot com. So it's it's info at, it's info at kobepegway dot com. What should you expect from the safety audit? should expect for them to you can go actually go on the FMCSA website and look at this or I actually have a resource for this but is you going to have to make sure your logs are good you going to have to make sure you got all it's basically they just checking they just checking all of your all of your paperwork everything make sure everything intact so that that will be something I have to coach you on it's it's it's, it's way too lengthy to kind of like break it down I can't even think of all this stuff I would need a the pencil to actually write it down and it's more like a presentation you know what I mean what exactly is white glove? White glove just mean that that you like you do, is you doing an inside delivery and you you probably doing it to like room of choice. So like when somebody delivering furniture, that'll be like white glove. You know, you actually getting in, you breaking, you taking out of the box and all of that good stuff and breaking it down and making it real real pretty for them. Did you say you can buy slides if you if we can't join the class? How do we do that? Yeah, so I will have the the book the book on sale of the presentation that I got. It's going to be $99. You guys can pay for it in advance through Cash App or PayPal. Or either just um, give me a few days to get it up on my website. Full up with diesel. Full up with diesel and subtract from gross vehicle weight. Always leave 400, 600 pounds out. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's a good game right there for sure. And I hope everybody see this. Definitely good game. Definitely fill it up. 
But don't get caught with no truck overweight. Don't do that. Thanks for the donation, my man. Do you do you ever feel at any point you were scaling too fast? I ready to purchase three trucks, put drivers in, and scale from there. What are the Indianapolis load boards for box truck? Thanks. Okay, so run that back to me in a minute. But yeah, scaling too fast is what I did um, after my after two months in. I got another truck and a driver. Then about five months after that, I went and got a van. Scale way too fast. I didn't even understand the game. So it just made me lose pretty much on, on three vehicles instead of one. And that's how I went in debt so fast. Because I, I tried to scale it because I had the money to do it. But you got to let the business dictate the flow and not you, yourself. Good question. And White, I'm, I'm going to try to remember to get the Indianapolis for you. Because I'm going to jump into low boys here in about like four or five minutes. With all the paperwork do I need in my box truck for a DOT inspection? The DOT inspections, you said a DOT inspection is going to be your truck. Are you saying like a roadside inspection or, you know, and that's something you're going to have to take the class. It's like it's like some of these questions are like too detailed for me to, re and I got to go and make sure I'm telling you to correct the correct, like everything. If I just try to go off my head, I'm going to forget something. Cause it's too many different things. But if you just speaking on a DOT inspection for your truck, they got it. They're going to pretty much fix Well, They're going to pretty much make you fix anything that they say is wrong. If they say there's something wrong with the air brakes or anything like that, they're going to make you fix it. Yeah, Rome. I don't know what the NA, I don't know. I don't know that off the top of my head. Um, send me an email. I, I could pretty much probably figure it, help you figure it out. But I, that's not something I know off the top of my head though. Running a box truck business in an area where I'm not located depends on the market. I mean, it's a good idea. I'm thinking about putting trucks in St. Louis, and I'm not there, but I but I do understand the market, and I do I'm from there, so I kind of understand the terrain too. So, if you're from somewhere but a completely different place, I don't know if that's a good or a bad idea. That'll be that'll be something I wouldn't advise you on. You just have to you know figure that out and hit me up and let me know how that that worked out for you. Have you ever tried the low board selectors for box trucks? Yep, I did. Um, it was good because it had plenty of work that you're looking for. I just felt like the rates wasn't as good as I needed to be, or either my negotiation skills at the time two years ago just were horrible. But yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't making the money I wanted to make. Hey, so do I get cheap insurance from another state? Then go to Ryder with my insurance info. Yeah, you can get insurance as, as long as the insurance, as long as the LLC and everything line up, you can get it in whatever state you want to. But we appreciate all oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Without a CDL, you cannot finance a truck. Yep. That's pretty much what I I found one place. I just got to figure out what the name of it is. I found one place that, that would do it. But it's only they said they only would do it because I had trucks already too, though. So they like, if it's your first truck, it would be even, even harder. So how am I seeing the same questions though? Oh man, I apologize, y'all. It's so many questions. Like it's hard for me to keep up with. Like they just like popping around like everywhere. Are you doing any dispatch courses anytime soon? I'm here in Memphis. Plenty of freight to be moved. Dispatch courses. I don't. I don't really do. My course is about generally about trucking, starting a trucking company geared towards a freight brokerage. A dispatcher is not the, a dispatcher needs to understand a trucking company and how trucking companies work because that's who you're going to be working for essentially if you become a dispatcher. But no, I don't want you to be convinced that my class is is based on my class is based on based on that. Hold on one second, I got to cut my I got to turn my other phone off because both of these phones ring. All right, what's up, y'all? Yeah, I had to. I got this phone. It was actually in my pocket, man. 
Give me one second. Let me cut this off because it's, it's definitely distracting me. I just cut the volume now. All right, so let me get to this next question. Overweight, yeah. Overweight truck, $2,500 fine. Y'all see that? Make sure y'all y'all take that note down. How do I get higher coverage for my rental box truck? That'll be a question you got to ask your insurance agent, for real. I mean, it's, it's just you got to make sure that they can give you, it's called higher auto or non-owned. That's what it's called. So what's included in your I three book? The book is the book is everything how to start your company from A to Z. It has my formulas in there. Like everything I use to count operational costs. It has everything that I use to to run my business inside of that book. And it's ninety nine ninety nine dollars. Or you could just take the course and get it for like thirty dollars. What is a carrier package? Good question. A carrier package is just what you got to fill out for the brokers. It's kind of it's going to fill out your company information. You're going to fill out the broker carrier agreement, and it's going to be like your direct deposit. It's going to be all your information for them to pay you and everything, all the rules and regulations, non-compete contracts and stuff like that. So just make sure you read over them. They are pretty much the same, though, essentially. What do you think about the Sprinter Van game? I wouldn't, I mean, I don't understand it. I never could find, I had a Sprinter van, never could find work that paid enough for it. Do you outsource com compliance? If so, who do you use? I suggest Foley. Um, right now I'm not outsourcing because I want my people to first understand how to do it before we outsource it. So, because you're still going to have to manage it and be responsible for it. But Foley services is pretty good. How do you get low insurance down payment? That I don't know. It's just I just shop for insurance and I shop for ten people. I try with like ten companies and whoever give me the best deal, that's who I go with. It's no really science I got for that for that that boy Robin. Can I rent a semi truck that I have a plan? Can I rent a semi truck that I have a plan to have a CDO driver pick up and drive for me without me having a CDO? Yeah, yeah, I've. I've definitely rented semi trucks, you know, without any problem. All you need is a person with a CDL to pick it up, so that's that's very likely, Anthony. Very, very likely. Can you look up rally on the low boys? Okay, I haven't got to that. Compliance? Question mark. I don't know. I don't know, my man. What you mean by that? Just uh, let me know what. Fuel car do you use and what are the perks? I use Amazon fuel cars. I get 31 cents a gallon off of that and 20 cents at certain places. Nashville watched all your videos. Is Nashville area worth it? Don't know. Uh, I, I think at Nashville is. Uh, almost every time I look on there, they always have something. Always have something. All right, now how did it just jump past all of these? All right. <clears throat> Excuse me, what direction? Say, say, what direction is Amazon going in for box trucks? Are they getting their own trucks? That I don't know 100%. I just know that the rates, that, man, if I showed y'all my rates right now, they, they, all, they ain't never been like, oh, my God, but they, like, getting progressively worse. Just know that I'm still making some money, still making more money than I ever made at any job. You know, more money than I ever made in my life. But it's still, you got to, when you, once you learn the game, you will start realizing your worth and what you're actually doing. Cause people out here willing to pay you more than what Amazon willing to pay you to do a lot less. Which low boards do you recommend for box trucks with the new authority? I'm in Atlanta. My virtual fleet or Selectus, those are the only ones that I know of. Well, I, I do be booking box truck loads off of DAT, though, from time to time as well. Talk briefly about running a business remotely from a different state or, in my case, a different country. That I don't know. I mean, I can't really talk about that because I have never done it. So I wouldn't, you know, I would just be talking. So I, I don't really want to speak on, on that, and that's something I can't really give you any facts on. Can you do post truck 
at any time of day, like 3 p.m., for example. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. You can put in whatever time you want to do. That's the beauty of it on Amazon, but you could do a post-it truck on any low, well, on most low boards that I use, for sure. And you get work with Amazon having a new authority. Yep, that's one of the beauties and why everybody go for it, because they, they take brand new authorities. But notice, almost everybody with the new authorities, it'd be, it be really tough to get really, really good paying work, too, as well, though. You know what I mean? Okay, good. Hey, shouts out to, I want to say there's Tanny Logistics out there answering questions. It seems very knowledgeable. Hey, send me your information. I want to start bringing some guys that's knowledgeable up on here so they can speak it from their perspective, too, as well. You know, because this is about a community and about me just spitting what I know. I kind of want to get people the knowledge that they need by any means. Can you speak on the importance of developing relationships with brokers and shippers versus re relying on Amazon? Good question. I mean, relationships are just like, you know, it's just like regular life. You know, relationships and who you be around and who you build with will determine your success. Even inside of Amazon, I got really good relationships with certain people that if it was if I didn't have a relationship, I would have been I would have been done with Amazon a, a, a while ago. But the relationships and, you know, helps it. But. It's like with JB Hunt um and, and this load my driver's running right now. Um the lady was like, Oh yeah, I'm the I'm the head person over the southeast. And I'm like, Oh really? She's like, Yeah, so just let me know. So now it's gonna go from me looking for loads to now she gave me her cell phone number where it's like she gonna be hitting me up like, Hey, you got any trucks that that's available? And then she gave me like four dollars a mile. So you think I'm not gonna answer when she called? Definitely. So yeah. So I, I did. I shout out to Lauren and JB Hunt because I just built a relationship today. So I still do stuff like that, like reach out to the new companies. I still do all of the new work. I just don't. My box trucks uh, is completely automated though. I'm I'm trying to grow the semi side because that's as a, as CEOs, the objective for us is to build. We get one part one part build. We put somebody in place and we go start. We just continue to keep building, continue to keep building. That's the CEO mindset. Get it, set it up, build. Get it, set it up, build. Because anytime you become stagnant and you stop building, eventually you're probably going to fall because you got to keep growing. Because if you're growing, if you're either growing or dying. It ain't really no in-between in real life or in business. Yep, so we got that. Yep, we got that. We got that. Is the semi game slowing down too? Oh no, the slim the semi game is rocking right now. We doing about like with these trails off in there, I'm gonna be doing like guarantee like two fifty, two sixty, two seventy a mile. So nah. The, the the game is real good right now for the semis. Like that's why I that's why I just bought three and five trailers because the game right now is turning up. Is 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 it a is that a nice, nice place? It's, it's like it ain't like peak season, but it's it's like a little junior peak season going on right now. The course is great, guys. Highly recommend. Thank you, thank you, Health Wealth. What is your name, Health Wealth? <laughs> health Wealth Fate. Yeah, that that course be cracking. I heard tire delivery isn't bad with the box truck. Please check Colorado. All right, tire delivery. Yeah, tires can be good. Okay, good. I actually made it to the bottom. I hope I ain't did it. Um, if, if I miss somebody' question real quick, can y'all retype it? Cause I um, I'm at the bottom, but. I don't know. What up, Jessica? And Jessica asked a lot of the good questions. I believe that's Jessica out of Georgia. She out of South South Georgia, I believe. Does your course provide full details on automating the business? Oh, oh yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, that's all I talk is automation. That's all I talk is tools for automation. That's the number one thing. Do you ever get drug tested? Do I get drug tested? Why would I get drug tested? I don't understand that question. But you could re ask it again and maybe I I don't I ain't trying to offend you. I just don't understand what that means for real. At what point would you say you were actually ready to upscale? I, I mean the the time that you know you're ready to scale is when you're working with a shipper or a broker or somebody who got some work. And you handling that work and they calling you while you on a route and asking you, do you got another truck? That's when you know. That's when you know. 
Okay, yes, yeah, so that is the right Jessica. I was, I was like, I was like, I, I was like, I only remember she was asking a lot, lot of good questions. I'm in so far. County Long Island. That's the low board. What's the low board looking like here in competition? It's crazy. All right, all right. Now give me a second. What time is? Okay, it's seven fifty. All right, yeah. Let me get on some of these some of these low boards, real quick, real quick for y'all. Y'all better stop sleeping on DAT and only y'all be only want to see Amazon, man. DAT is man where that where that money money is sometimes. I'm gonna stay on here a little bit over. I think I got a little extra time. I don't get mad. People was disliking it last time because I had to get off, but y'all gotta understand, like I got Five kids and a whole lot of um I got employees, I got a whole lot of work that I be having to do. So and and I don't think a lot of y'all know how much I put into the live. Like I might have to show y'all like what my setup is like that's why I be in different spots every time. Like I, I really take this serious. Everything I do, I'm all in on it. So if you ain't never done it, don't judge it. Don't judge it. All right, so now y'all can start dropping them cities on here. I remember my man's one in Indianapolis. I remember that. Sorry if I if I skipped over y'all questions. I tried to go through all of the questions with a fine tooth comb. Max Deadhead, I'm not trying to really do more than 50 miles if I don't have to unless my driver's stuck somewhere. All right, so let me look at Indianapolis real quick. I believe he wanted Indianapolis for the box truck. Indianapolis, Indiana. I see. Let me see. Indianapolis, low boy for box trucks. All right. Let's check out the boxes in Indianapolis. See what it's hidden for. Wow. Wow, wow. Look at here. If I'm in Indianapolis, I'm getting a box truck. These rates look super decent. Can y'all see my screen? Cause, hey, man, look. And there's plenty of work on the board for Indianapolis. And it and it's plenty of work that's paying halfway decent. And 336 a mile, three, 354 a mile. So you got a box truck you can eat right now tonight in, um, in, in Indianapolis. But that's the Midwest, though. The Midwest is the number one market. Number one market, Midwest, number two, south southeast and south central, like Texas and where I'm at in the southeast, number three, west coast, and the worst market is up north. Well, of course, well, Florida is the worst, but but the east coast is is in the last place, all the way east, east, up north in, in Florida. <laughs> Y'all all together. But, yeah. So, I hope you got a good look at this, my brother. You looking good out there in Indianapolis with the box trucks. Looking good. I, like I said, I would go get a rental if you're dealing with Amazon, though. I wouldn't go buy no truck. So when it's over, you could just take it back and move on or do whatever you're going to do. I'm interested in, um, I think somebody asked me about Canada or something. That's one I ain't never, I ain't never looked up. I like the, was it Toronto? Toronto or something like that? Yeah, I think it was Toronto. Let me check out Canada or whatever to see if they even got something out there. Yeah, I don't see nothing in Toronto. Yeah, I don't see nothing out there in Toronto.
You said zoom. Somebody said somebody say zoom in. All right, let me try to zoom in. All right, let's see what it's hitting for. All right, I'm going to zoom in. All right, I hope y'all can see that. Is that zoomed in good enough? Man, I can't even see where these things started at. I right, can you show DAT? Hold on. I don't know if I'm going to have time to jump over to DAT, too. All right, so let's look at Jessica says she wants to see Columbus. I don't know if Columbus going to have nothing, though. Might be surprised. No, no, nothing for Columbus with the box trucks. What we got? Atlanta, he said Atlanta for that. Aurora. Let's see what Aurora hitting for. I actually got it. I actually, Colorado wasn't bad. I had a truck out there one time, a box truck that was stuck out there, and they was just running some loads out there for a couple of days. Aurora for the 26s. They got loads, but they just don't pay that good. If you can see it, they got loads for sure. Plenty of them. They far though. Except 400 miles for 700. So the gross is high on those, but the, the rate per mile is trash though. Like I said, their West Coast is horrible. But they do got work. So, I mean, maybe you can make this make sense. But these are saying 26, the trailer provided. I don't know if that's a mistake, though. It's a little weird. I ain't never seen that before. Yeah, we going to jump up to how do I get insurance without a truck? You just need a van number, my boy. You need a van number. I'm going to do a couple of them on DAT in a second. Oh yeah, my course definitely. Somebody asked, "Does my course work without relay?" Like, yeah, definitely, because I don't even. I ain't even relying strictly on them right now, so I can teach you a lot about other work. L.A. Let's see what L.A. look like. I'm tripping this Las Vegas. <laughs> Guess because I'm finna go to Vegas too. I'm ready to go. So LA, oh my God. Yeah, they got work. It just don't pay good. So LA got work, and then they just changed their prices. So a lot of people giving in, they giving it, giving they giving their routes back. Cause I almost gave mine back. I'm like, man, these mugs ain't making no sense for real. Still making profit, but it just they they ripping us off. Okay, I tried. I tried to look up Canada. There was nothing for that. What's the name of your book that would really help? It's it's I three Truck Mastery. It's not it's not out anywhere, so you won't be able to find it. It's not out yet. They they just seen it in my in my course. Everybody who's asking about it took my course already. So that's how they know about it because it's what I read from. I showed you how good the course is because they want to buy the, the the literature. What are some ways to what are some ways to negotiate better rates for OTR loads and box trucking? You gotta you gotta know what your cost is and 
and tell them that you don't want to run for that. That's the only way to negotiate is you got to you got to take a stand. You got to be willing to walk away. Can't can't negotiate if you ain't willing to to lose and walk away. I got you on the dispatcher stuff. Um, shoot me an email, Jessica, about that. Let me check Riley, and then I'm going to jump over to DAT. Hey, you spell it. Closest thing from Riley is Concord. They even got a, um, a low, and it's a pretty decent one, too. Well, not 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 being round trip. But yeah, so the closest thing out of Raleigh, I, I see we got two two people in Raleigh, and I'm assuming that y'all, everybody is looking for box trucks because I don't see nobody's putting like anything else outside of that. Rome, Rome wants to look up Baltimore. Let's let's check out Baltimore. Nope, nothing. The close thing is Pittsburgh. I see Shot Town. Shot Town and then Lexington, and I'm just go over to DAT. Shot Town and then Lexington, Kentucky. Okay, Chicago got some. They look deep. Nah. I'll let some of these sit on her. But this one, this one for the night, and it still ain't really paying that much for real. If you run, if you run for these numbers, you are definitely gonna be out of business ASAP. We got Chicago in here, and then I'm gonna look at uh Kentucky. Now, don't get me wrong, the Midwest is still the best place, it just ain't for Amazon. But I bet you you could find some some work on them on the other low boys out there in the Midwest. The Midwest got the highest rates right now. Where well, they always get the highest rates. Kentucky, Kentucky. I'm tripping. I'm thinking about um tripping. Hold on. I'm supposed to be looking up Lexington, Kentucky. I don't know why it ain't coming up. See if I could just scroll down. I don't know why it ain't just popping up. I ain't trying to give up on it, but for some reason, some cities, you know. I don't know. It ain't, it, it ain't showing me Lexington, Kentucky, though, for some reason. All right, let me pull up DAT real quick. And somebody, I think, in the A said, look at Somebody in the A said something about, um, I guess, box truck loads in the A. So you got to go to specific, and then let's take off power only, and then we're going to look at straight box. This is actually good because some of y'all that's on the Amazon need to see need to see the other side of what's going on. This is Atlanta to Atlanta, but I'm going to do like Atlanta to anywhere. But like, remember, it is, it's still late in the day. So... The low boy be jumping early, but it still got something on here. Here go one to, to um South Carolina. Here go a local one from TQ where they'll probably be paid like 
They said the average on that is three seventy. They go one for twenty four hundred. Excuse me. So it's probably like a team low right here, twenty one hundred, twenty four hundred. Still ain't really a great rate because it's only seventeen hundred miles. That ain't that ain't no real good rate they offering. But you ain't got to take this what they offering. That's all I like about DAT because you can negotiate the rates. You used to be able to negotiate with Amazon in the beginning, but that's no longer a thing. It's either take it or leave it. So this is just this is just Atlanta. Depends on how much dead here. Let's say we did a one fifty if it had populate more more loads, which it, it should. So you got a few more that's a little bit further out, like in Chattanooga. Massive three PL, you don't want to run for these guys. I heard nothing but bad news about these people right here. Usually, I don't run for nobody that ain't got the green check. To be honest, it's just a rule of thumb. If they ain't got the green check right there, I ain't running for them. I ain't running for them. All right, so I see somebody saying Miami on that. I mean, y'all could drop y'all cities right now. Because I'm, right, I'm all the way at the bottom, so I'll be able to see it. Miami for the box truck. No point in looking at Fort Lauderdale too, because it's we, we got a hundred and fifty mile radius. So yeah, it is something, some stuff for the box truck out down there in Miami right now. And he's saying that the fifteen day average is twenty one hundred. That ain't bad from Miami. Let's see if you can call and get that. I almost want to call them and see. <laughs> Just so y'all can y'all can know I'm not picking on them. It really be that bad. Maybe that's what we'll do next. We're gonna we gonna call some brokers live and negotiate some rates. So somebody got Dallas in the semi. Is this is y'all trying to look at this up on DAT? Anybody want me to look up something on DAT? St. Louis semi DAT. All right, cool. Let me look at St. Louis. St. Louis is going to be great. I'm already knowing. Don't want to live there, but I definitely put a truck there. St. Louis is too rough for me now. And that's the box truck. Hold on, let me change this. Are you looking at with a trailer or you want to look at power only? Anthony, you want to look at power only or which one? We'll look at power only real quick. Yeah, this hell is right here. Most of these might be loadouts, though. So look at this 364 miles. It's, they they out they offering eleven hundred dollars. See some of these is offered more than two dollars a mile. Let's see what that general look like if you got a trailer. And it's late in the day. My computer, like I'm doing too much too fast or something. Yeah, that mug froze. <laughs> it ain't even, uh, it ain't let me do nothing. You said get closer. Somebody saying get closer, zoom in. All right. All right, that's, that's zoomed in now. Is that Savannah, Georgia? GMO Logistics, is that Savannah, Georgia? You trying to look up? Somebody want to look at Norfolk. Look at what in Norfolk, though. Like, y'all got to put what it is. I'm going to look up Boston. 
Somebody got Boston, but they ain't got a box truck to semi. So if you if you don't specify what it is, I don't even know, you know, what to look for. Boston, Massachusetts. Let me refresh this page because this moment is not doing nothing. There we go. Here go a low right here. 548 miles. They offering a thousand on it. 2,900. Now, now, this is stuff that don't be making sense. 2,900 miles. $2,500. ain't even a dollar a mile. It's got to be some. Okay, that's because it's a partial, though. It's only 16 feet. So that's how you make some money, though. If you run them partials, get you about five of them on the way going to one direction, I wouldn't want to do that much work, but you could really maximize your truck that way. These are all Boston semi loads, but it ain't, y'all gotta remember it's not gonna be like, like um, Amazon where everything has a price by it. Cause this is the, this thing is based on bids. It's all based on bids. So even these prices can be negotiated. Savannah DAT box. I right, said so that's Boston as far as. Yeah, see, that's why I can't zoom in because I can't even see the other parts of the screen for real. Yeah, so I can't zoom in because then it, it just make it to where I can't um, see how to type the stuff in no more. And I'm 12 minutes over, so I'm going to just go through a couple of these. This is the boxes right here. I guess I'm searching too many cities too fast. This is going to keep on getting stuck. Here go the straight boxes in Massachusetts. I'll try to zoom it in real quick. It's just going to take me longer. I ain't going to be, be able to do as many if I got to zoom in. It's SB, that straight box. So these are all box truck loads right here. They only got a few of them. Like I said it's late, and then they don't specialize in boxes anyway. Las Vegas box. All right, I'm going to do like one, two more. And I got to get off of her. I'm, I'm going to check Houston. I'm going to check Houston and Phoenix. Houston and Phoenix. It's Houston with the box trucks right here. Got some stuff, but they got massive 3PL. You don't want to get nothing from them. Green checks only. Yeah, so it's a few of them, which I got to understand. This is late in the day, too. This is late in the day. So I think Houston just wanted to, yeah, just on the box truck only. See if I could jump back over to Houston for a uh, relay real quick. Nothing. Nothing on Houston in the boxes on Amazon either. We're going to do Phoenix on both sides and then I'm gonna have to get out of here, y'all. Let 
The Phoenix got some box truck loads. Too many for massive three PL. I wouldn't. Yeah, I don't like Phoenix because they got this company and that, that company is horrible. They'll be out of business soon. Yeah, so that's Phoenix on the DAT side. All of them pretty much got the same amount of box truck loads because box trucks ain't really notorious for DAT, but you, you can find them every now and then. And keep in mind, y'all, a lot of this stuff is timing, though. Like, so it might not be nothing at this time, but that don't mean when you need to get something that it ain't going to be nothing. So don't, I mean, so that'll, that'll be a misconception. Like I said, keep in mind, the prime times on the board is during the, it's during the day, during regular business hours, 9 to 5. So that's because you're not seeing nothing right now. This is not a, I would say this is not like a, a, a thing that you can, that you can bank everything on. I'm just giving you a glimpse and an example because I got access to it. But it, this ain't the 100% real do or die. So Phoenix do got some box truck loads right here. But they they pay horrible. I don't know who asked for Phoenix, but they but Relay do got it popping. So all right, y'all, I've been, I've been live for an hour and 16 minutes. I went 16 minutes over because I tried something new with the call-ins today. Uh, I appreciate everybody stopping by, kicking it, talking with me. I, I, hopefully I see some of y'all in the class. I'm about to start a Facebook group for all my people that did take the class. I appreciate y'all so we can start like a, a community around, around it because everybody got so many questions and everybody so intrigued by the information. So, like I said, I definitely appreciate y'all. I'll be here again Tuesday. I might try to go live again on Friday at like six o'clock if I can find the time. I'm still I'm working on writing them books and I got I got a lot of stuff that I got going on. Um, but I'm gonna try to go live again on Friday. And I'm gonna try to do some city lookups and and everything for y'all. But all right then, as usual, peace and love. Kobe Pegway website kobepegway.com. Follow me at Kobe Pegway on IG or Twitter or whatever whatever platform you're on. I'm more active on IG, though, and Facebook and, of course, YouTube. And um, if you want to donate, my cash app is Kobe Pegway, cash sign Kobe Pegway. I appreciate everything because yeah, I do know it takes out a lot of time. And, hey, all love and all support is appreciated. Peace.